Hi everyone. Now to start this video off, I'm just going to tell you that the audio for this video was recorded after I made the video itself. So if anything seems off, sorry about that, but uh, it's all I could do at the time. Now, on to the actual video. First, what you're going to want to do is click the link I, first link I have in the description to bring you to this website, the GIMP 2.8 website. You click download and then at right there that link that is the download link you click that click save file when it's available and it downloads then you're going to want to go to the next link I have in the description this will get you the GIMP DDS plugin this allows you to save files under the DDS extension depending on what version of Windows you have you're going to want to either download 64-bit or 32. I downloaded the 64-bit since I am on a 64-bit installation. Now for the normal map plugin. Third link in the description. Downloads. One of these is what you need. If you're on a 32-bit installation, it's going to be the second one. If you're on a 64-bit like me, it's going to be the first one. You click the link you need, and then click the download link right there. Save file. Now you have all three files that you need. The GIMP installation, the EXE, the two plugins, and all you need to do now is install GIMP. Now click install, let GIMP do its stuff. It's installed, I skip forward a bit, and click finish once all that's done. Now that you have GIMP on your system and all the files are installed, you're going to need to. Well, yeah, see? There it is. Now you're, what you're going to need to do is open up the first one that you downloaded and click the README. That README has all the installation instructions you need, but I'm going to show you how to do it anyways. First, click your Start menu and go to Computer. Click your local disk C, and then go to program files, just like in the README says. Click program files, you click GIMP, you click lib, GIMP, 2.0, plugins. Just like the README. And then you take the normal map plugin, and I tried to drag it to plugins, but it doesn't work. So what you need to do is copy it, go back to the plugins file, and paste it. Continue, because this is an administrator thing, so it's going to ask you if you want to continue. Now the file's in there. What you do now is you get the last three files. They need to go into the GIMP bin file. So go back to your GIMP plugins file that I just put the normal map plugin in. Click back, click back, click back, click back. Bin. There it is, the second file. Then you go back to the sit folder with all your stuff. Just gonna split the screen so everything's easier. Click on the first one, shift click on the last one, that copy that highlights all three. Continue. They're all in there. Okay. You're done the normal maps. Now for the DDS plugin. Just click that and it'll bring up this. Now this readme, all it says you have to do is put the DDS exe file in the exact same place you put the normal map file. So GIMP 2.0 plugins. This is the same place we put the normal map file. So you click the DDS, again, it won't let you drag and drop, so you click copy, you click paste, continue, and it will put the DDS in. Okay, all your plugins and everything's done for GIMP. You can now open it and edit texture files for games such as Skyrim and whatnot, and make your normal maps, export them as DDSs, all that's done and ready to go. So open up GIMP. It's going to take a while. 
because this is the first time you're opening it and it has those plugins. I skipped ahead, of course, so you don't have to watch all that, but don't be surprised if it takes you upwards of 10 minutes. Now just to test and show everything we installed, I make a new image, okay, and I'm just going to draw some scribbles on the screen. Scribble, 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 scribble. Now, filters, map, normal. Okay, the normal map is there and it's working. Everything's fine. Now, export. Get rid of PNG and put DDS. Hey, the DDS compression thing is there. And it's all working great. Okay. Everything is here for the GIMP. File it, plugins and whatnot. Next video, I'm going to show you how to make the weapon in Blender. So, come back in a couple hours, maybe a day after this video is uploaded, and I'll have a new video showing how to make a weapon in Blender. See you then.